I doing Nintendo fans get so mad? If he does perform the play the best and she ever given friends instead of the switch away the racing. Okay, I think I sounded like that guy that made those weird videos that chills guy, but this is probably that's probably how those people are. And they post a picture of Ocarina of Time, Bowser Door, Mayway, and Monster Hunter World. Also, saying a game is the best is subjective. This is something that is subjective. And no, I'm not gonna get mad at you if you play Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Mayway over Smash Bros. Ultimate. I don't like Smash Bros. Mayway's fan base. Smash Bros. Mayway's fan base is absolutely ridiculous. You know, the fact that they still claim to this day that Mayway is the you know peak perfection of Smash Bros. and that every Smash Bros. game since then has been a piece of crap. That's just stupid. People have people could prefer their own versions, their own versions of Smash Bros. There are people who prefer the first one. Not many, but there are people who do. The people who were brawl for that story mode, Subspace Episary. There's like two people enjoy the Wii U and 3DS version. And a lot of people enjoy Smash Bros. Ultimate. Mitt. The other two Smash Bros. games that I do think some people prefer over Melee do have valid points and valid reasons to like those games. I like Ultimate over Melee. I will play Ultimate over Melee anytime because Ultimate has a stage builder, which is not present in Melee. Ultimate has, you know, more characters, more character variety. Ultimate is more balanced. I know some competitive Ultimate players like to disagree with that one. I know competitively Ultimate is dying, but again, I don't play Smash Bros. competitively. If you play casual, the game is actually very balanced. Okay. Unless you play as Riddle Mac, because Riddle Mac still sucks. But again, there has to be someone who's worst of the worst. Okay. And that's Riddle Mac. But Smash Bros. Melee has Pichu. And Bowser and Kirby, which are the worst characters in the game. But if you play casually, most people won't realize that Kirby and Bowser suck. But Pichu does suck. Bowser Your Door? Yeah, it's really, really dumb that you prefer Sticker Style over Bowser Your Door. Okay, I can see the arguments for Origami King, because Origami King is a very unique game. game. It has a very unique battle style. It has an original villain for once. The characters are great. It, you know, the boss battles are amazing. Comparing, it's comparing Origami King to Fowls Your Doors and comparing apples to oranges. It says, there are very different styles of games. Okay, I still prefer Fowls Your Door over, you know, in terms of gameplay wise, over, over Origami King. But I still think the best story wise of Paper Mario has to go to the third entry in the series, Super Paper Mario, which... If anyone, anyone else has played that game, no one would, I don't think anyone's going to disagree with me on that one. <laughs> Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter World is the most popular Monster Hunter game. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Monster Hunter, so, yeah. But I think a lot of people agree that Monster Hunter World is the best entry in the Monster Hunter series, by far. Uh, Ocarina of Time, Zelda series is very subjective because it is really just up to preference. There are people who prefer the original Zelda game. There are people who prefer the SNES one called The Wing to the Past. There are people who will prefer Majora's Mask over Ocarina of Time. There are people who prefer Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. No one likes Skyward Sword. We're moving on from that one. But And there's of course people who prefer Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. Both of those games over Ocarina of Time. The Zelda series is very subjective. And I wouldn't really consider that one. Same thing with 3D Mario 1 as well. Okay. But it is really ridiculous if you say Tears of the Kingdom sucks because it's a DLC, because it's quote unquote DLC. But then they'll go around and play Mario Galaxy 2 at the same time. When Mario Galaxy 2 could be glorified DLC for Mario Galaxy 1 as well. Or they'll play for some reason to do Super Mario Bros. Wii. When New Super Mario Bros. Wii could be glorified DLC for New Super Mario Bros. DS. Okay. It is very ridiculous that these people come up with these arguments as well. Okay. When they realize to be criticizing and stuff like Call of Duty or Madden for releasing the same exact game every year, and millions of people still buy them every year, despite them being the same games every year, okay, and glorified DLC, okay. Tears of the Kingdom had hundreds of people work on the game. They took the Breath of the Wild world and expanded it and doubled the size of the world, which is very impressive given this fits its hardware. And it's just so funny, people love to hate the game for no reason. Same thing with the hate with Mario Wonder. Okay, 2D Mario games 
have always been great, except for the D, the 3DS one and the Wii U one. Those ones sucked. Ducked. But 2D Mario games have always been great. Mario Maker, Mario Maker 2, uh, Super Mario Wonder. I think that one, that's the new one. Mario Bros. DS, Mario 3, Mario World. 3D Mario as well, you had Mario 64, Mario Galaxy, Mario Odyssey. All games are very highly received. Okay. I don't think... Any, I think people get mad when you say the newer games suck because of the nostalgia. I think that's simply what people get mad about. Okay. Because there are people who are nostalgia, who have nostalgia goggles. And will say the older games suck and the newer games... No, the older games are bad. The, oh, yeah. No, no, sorry. The newer games suck and the older games are just the classics that cannot be touched. When both the newer games and older games are critically acclaimed, it's different if someone if someone from the Halo Five fandom or Halo Infinite fandom says, "How dare you like Halo Three and Halo Reach over Halo Infinite? Those are the worst games, and these are the better games," or something like that. When most people who played those games, when those games are popular, know that those games are far better, you know, than the newer Halo games. Okay, it's not like that. It's not like a Halo situation, as well. But yeah, these people could be ridiculous. Nobody is getting mad over people not liking Melee. Okay, it's when the it's when the aggressive fanboys come out and you know try to say, uh, you know, and basically you know got so angry that people like the newer games. I think, but we're never gonna complain about the other side of the story because we gotta hate the Switch because gotta hate the newer thing. Am I right? 